Yeah, it does feel good to see Ozymandias fly again. Hello everybody and welcome. Yes, we're back with the museum series and this time we're going to awake some legends. Well, legends, if you are a longtime fan of this channel and have followed my three big series I did, the Journey to Jewel, the Ozymandias and Invictus. So basically what's going to happen today? We are going to refuel three vehicles. First, the Julishka, the vehicle that was used for the Journey to Jewel. We're going to refuel Ozymandias that went to the outer planets and visited every planet and every moon. And then we're going to refuel and awaken Invictus again. The big, really big spaceship that visited all the planets and all the moons in the stock solar system and also in the outer planets. That was really a great mission and I'm going to link to that in the description below and up top in that little like icon. Anyway, we got our first encounter with Julushka. I'm going to do that in chronological order of when the vehicles were launched originally. In reality, the timeline was a bit mixed because I got an encounter first with Ozymandias, then with Julushka and so on. Anyway, you know, if you played Kerbal Space Program a lot, you know that sometimes your plans have to change and you have to, well, follow what the orbit says and not what you want in regards to timeline. So here we are on the dark side of the planet, and usually, I don't know why, but for some reason almost 90% of my rendezvous with any vehicle happens on the night side of a planet. So yeah, if you're a long time viewer, you know what I mean, and I truly apologize, but I really don't plan for this kind of thing, and it just happens where it happens. Okay, we're going to refuel that here. And then we're going to deorbit the refueler and get the Julishka to Minmus. So, refueler is on its way. It's going to meet a fiery death in the atmosphere of Kerbin. No, we're not going to reuse that. We're going to use and reuse and have reused this thing here. It was kind of prophetic when I ended the series and said, I'm going to leave this in orbit when it's, until it might be needed again. And then when I started my uh, Ozim and Dia series, I kind of messed up something and <laughs> the lander exploded of, of that mission. And well, not really exploded, it kind of didn't have enough delta V to get back from a, one of the harder moons. Anyway, uh, here we are at Minmus almost, and while we're launching the Ozim and Diaz lander, let me tell you that I then used uh, the Julishka and refurbished it and built it up with additional fuel tanks and uh, radiators you've seen. Those were not the original design, by the way, because back when I built the Julishka, there were no radiators, there was no thermal management, and believe it or not, the nuclear engines didn't just use liquid fuel, they used liquid fuel and oxygen. I almost said liquid fool. You're going to turn into a liquid fool if you drink too much, so be aware of that. Alright, once again, a uh, nighttime rendezvous. Yeah. As I said, I apologize for that. I have no idea why this happened, but it keeps happening to me. And yeah, or maybe I'm just too impatient and, and don't want to wait for daytime rendezvous. But on the other hand, we get these nice lighting effects in the shadows. And what we also get is now a beautiful sunrise. Well, not really sunrise. We are orbiting the Earth and we're now in sunlight. And we got this nice effect that's provided by the scatterer mod. I'm using three visual mods here. With, no, four actually. I'm using, as I said, Scatterer, I'm using Waterfall for the uh, engine plumes, and I'm using Environmental Visual Enhancements uh, with the Black Rex Volumetric Cloud Mod en uh, Enhancement, and I am using Parallax for better surfaces and surface features. And here it is, Ozyman Diaz is back, but there are some solar panels missing. What happened to those? Oh yeah, <laughs> when I did one of my final error break passes around Kerbin, at really the end of the mission, uh, two of the solar panels kind of gave up the ghost, went the way of the dodo, explodified. 
anyway, back then I thought, ah, I'm probably never going to use that ship again. So I was fine with that, but here we are, I'm using it again and luckily we still have two solar panels left and those are abundant for uh, the level of sunlight we have here around Curran. We're just doing a quick trip to Minmus, so this is going to be fine. Um, well, that's not fine because the, one of the lander engines is active as well, that shouldn't be the case. Uh, yeah, let, let, let's turn that thing off before we explode something that shouldn't be exploded. And yes, we also get our trajectory to Minmus. You can see in the back the trajectory of the uh, Julishka. And here we are. Yeah, it does feel kind of good to see Ozymandias fly again. While I really enjoyed do the, doing that uh, Journey for Jewel mission back in the day, I have kind of a special bond for some reason with the Ozymandias mission and the vehicle. Honestly, uh, I tried to rewatch some of that. I really can't. I, I, I can't stand the, the comparatively bad production value to what I'm used to outputting now. But yeah, back in the day, it felt really nice doing that. And uh, for me, it was a great mission and a great step up for the channel back then, because I, th I think it, I gathered quite a few subscribers through that longer mission. And speaking of longer, this is a longer rocket, because Invictus is also a longer vehicle and has way more fuel or may way more fuel capacity. So we're going to need a bigger refueler. What I didn't calculate was that this was kind of... Well, I miscalculated in the sense that I, I made this thing way over spec and I had <laughs> a lot more fuel left in the tank after refueling than I initially planned or uh, that I had with uh, Ozymandias and Jolushka. But here we have Invictus in the background and what I also didn't plan for was docking Invictus with anything. So we're going to claw away and... Yeah. Again! Let's try that again. This time I was more perpendicular to my target and not as fast, so yep, the claw grabbed onto it and we were able to finally do the refueling. As you can see, quite a lot of tanks that needed filling up. So yeah, that took quite a while and after I was done with that, we went to Minmus again. There we go, all engines firing. Curiously, while Julishka was like the, the, the least complicated of the vehicle, it has, uh, of these three vehicles, it has the most engines. <laughs> it has more nerve engines than Invictus here and way more than Ozim and Diaz, so its thrust to weight ratio is quite above those two, so it was quite powerful back in the day. And here we are already at Minmus, and we're going to circularize here, and yep, this is now getting almost to a close, because there is one more thing to do, getting all these three big vehicles down onto Minmus in one piece and at the right place. But that's something we're going to do next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.